เนี่ยเขาใช้ภาษาอังกฤษไหมก็มีแต่ภาษาอังกฤษวันเนี้ยนะตอนเช้าปกติก็มีภาษาไทยนะเลยวันวันพระก็มีภาษาไทยด้วยเนี่ยเขาใช้ภาษาอังกฤษบ้างนะ <coughs> What, what, what is? I haven't been here for a while. I just don't know what to say, huh? <coughs> okay. ผู้หญิงที่มาใหม่พักที่ไหนพระเวน Where are the ladies that just arrived staying? ในคุปตอมปองเนี่ยจะไปแล้วแล้วไปทำงานแล้วที่ที่วัดมีกี่องค์หกองค์เลยกำลังสร้างอะไรบ้างศาลาฮะเสร็จหมดแล้วเมื่ออยากอยู่ชมพรรษาที่นี่ก็ดีนะที่นี่ไม่มีงานทำมีแต่ภาวนางานภาวนาเนี่ยก็เหมือนกันนะฮะอยู่ที่นี่ก็งานภาวนาเดินชงคมนั่งสมาธิเดินชงคมนะพอกระทีก็ต้องต้องสิบชั่วโมงนะทำให้ใจสงบใจมันสงบมันมันจะเห็นนะมันสัตว์ที่ว่างก็ขึ้นรู้ความรู้ล้วนๆนะเมื่อไม่มีความคิดขึ้นมาเมื่อไม่มีความจำขึ้นมาต้องทำให้ได้นะอย่าไปฟุ้งสารนะคิดนี่คิดโน่นอ๋อหอเนี่ยมันไม่หยุดนะฮะเมื่อของเอาไม่ได้ให้หยุดนะไม่ได้หยุดเองนะของเราต้องใช้พริคำนะปุตโตลมหายใจเข้าลมหายใจออกนะนังโกยเนี่ยใหญ่ใหญ่นังนะนังโกยก็ได้เออเออใช่มากี่วันสามวันสามวันเพิ่นมาด้วยเหรอเคยมาไหมเคยมาค่ะนี่ใหญ่นังอยากคุยคุยต่างนะลุงพ่อได้ยินหมดนะเนี่ยเลเลจักกุดไม่ไม่ก็ตอนไปไม่รู้คุยกับใครโทรศัพท์เหรอนี่เมื่อเมื่อโทรศัพท์ก็ก็ไปที่ศาลามันคนอื่นก็ก็กวนนะเข้าใจไหมฮะเมื่ออยากโทรศัพท์นะลุงพ่อปกติก็ว่าอยู่นะนะเมื่อเมื่อจำเป็นนะจะไปที่ซาลาไม่ได้กวนใครนะเข้าใจไหมอ่าคุยนานด้วยเนี่ยนะเลยเลยผู้หญิงนะอย่าอย่าอย่าใช้โทรศัพท์นะนะปกติลุงพ่อจะเก็บโทรศัพท์นะฮะเออนอกจากนักนอกจากภาวนาหน้าเบอร์นะเนี่ยสำคัญนะเมื่อก็กรณีที่พำเพ็ญภาวนานมันจะภาวนาเดินชงคมนั่งสมาธิเดินชงคมทำใจให้สงบนะหยุดความคิดหยุดเครื่องไว้นะ
เครื่องไหวที่อยู่ในใจนะต้องหยุดมันนะ <coughs> ถึงมันเห็นชัดๆเนะเกิดอะไรขึ้นในหัวใจของเรานะในจิตใจของเราเกิดอะไรขึ้นนะวิรณาขึ้นมานะ <coughs> ความคิดขึ้นมาความฉำขึ้นมาก็สลับกับพุทโธนะเพอลมหายใจเข้าลมหายใจออกลู่ลมหายใจเข้าลู่ลมหายใจออกเพราะลู่พุทโธเรียวพุทโธชาพุทโธลึกเรื่อไม่ลึกนะนี่ความรู้นี่ก็สติฮะเข้าใจไหมฮะต้องทําให้ได้ฮะทำให้ใช้สงบนะของเรามันเดือดร้อนตลอดเวลาคิดคิดตลอดเวลานะคิดนี่คิดโน่นนะช้ำนี่ช้ำโน่นนะเมื่อไม่มีความคิดขึ้นมาเมื่อไม่มีความจําขึ้นมาอาทิตย์ก็ไม่มีอนาคตก็ไม่มีจะห่วงเรื่องอะไรนะจะกลัวอะไรฮะเมื่อไม่มีอนาคตจะกลัวอะไรฮะไม่มีห่วงก็ไม่มีนะต้องเข้าใจนะั้นต้องทําให้ได้นะั้นต้องพยายามหน่อยฮะเมื่อยุทีนี้ก็ลุงพ่อก็บอกนะก็ยังหน่อยก็สิบชั่วโมงฮะคนที่มาก็สองสามวันก็แปดชั่วโมงนะเข้าใจไหมนะคนที่อยู่นานก็ต้องสิบชั่วโมงให้ได้นะนะนี่ก็สิบชั่วโมงนะไปไปที่สำนักไหนก็ก็สิบชั่วโมงอย่างน้อยก็สิบชั่วโมงฮะมลุงพ่อมลุงภาวนาก็สิบสองชั่วโมงนะฮะบางทีก็สิบสี่สิบหกชั่วโมงฮะบางวันก็สิบแปดชั่วโมงฮะเนี่ยนี่จะมีพลนะภาวนา <coughs> มีแต่นอนและภาวนานะนะเดินขึ้นมาก็ภาวนาเลยนะถึงถึงถึงนอนหลับนะนี่บำเพ็ญภาวนาอันนี้ก็มันทำนี่ทำโน่นคิดเรื่องนี่คิดเรื่องโน่นก็มันไม่ไม่ไม่มีผลนะใหญ่นังก็เหมือนกันนะไม่ว่าก็เดินไม่ว่าก็ก็ก็ทำอะไรนะต้องมีพุทโธตลอดเวลานะเข้าใจไหมฮะก็สวดมนต์ก็ได้คนที่นะนะโอเคเดี๋ยวนี้ภาษาอังกฤษหน่อยนะเนี่ยคนไทยก็ก็กลับกุฏิก็ได้นะ We haven't had a meeting here for a while. Yeah. There's there there are some things. Yeah. I mean, if I remember correctly from from the from the suttas, where the Lord Buddha talks about places, you know, and and teachers. Yeah. What is a good place? You know, what is not a good place? Yeah. <clears throat> if you know, he says, if if you go to a place, you know, where there's ample of food, you know, where everything is convenient, uh, and normally your practice doesn't develop because everything is convenient. Because normally, you know, when everything is, you know, is there, you know, <coughs> we don't have any in, incitement, you know, to practice. Yeah. So he said, you know, and your, our practice doesn't develop. We should go. To another place, yeah, uh, and then he talks about another place, you know, where we, where the food is scarce, yeah, where where the where the situation is very difficult, yeah. But normally there, our practice, you know, develops very fast, yeah. So we should stay there, yeah. We shouldn't we shouldn't choose our place, you know, <coughs> according to a commodity, yeah. If it is comfortable or you know, so no. In the same thing, he talks about the teacher. Yeah? If you have a teacher who is very friendly, who is very kind, who never scolds you, yeah, you should leave him, because your practice doesn't develop. Yeah? <clears throat> And he talks about you know if a if a teacher is very rough, constantly scolds you, yeah? And even you know <clears throat> even if he kicks you out, yeah, then you should go back to him. Crawl on all four four legs, you know, and go back to him and ask for forgiveness. And Lungda Lungda Mahaboa did it often. I mean, every year he 
he kicked out the monks who were too lazy to practice or had other problems who didn't listen to him anymore. <clears throat> and if these people yeah, wanted to come, or if these monks wanted to come back, they had to reflect in the time, you know, they had to stay away at least for three months, yeah, and had to reflect about, you know, what they did wrong, yeah, because there was something wrong, otherwise he wouldn't have kicked them out, yeah. <clears throat> And when they reflected and when they saw, you know, the, saw their faults and came back and asked for forgiveness, you know, and said, okay, I see, I see my problems and I want to work on my problem, not that the problems are gone, I want to work on my problem, he accepted them back. And that's how, you know, how, how it should be, yeah? But this is very difficult for, for Westerners, yeah? I mean, if they're once kicked out, they're, 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 uh, they're, they're Conceit, you know, doesn't let them go back. People are, you know, people are kicked out for a reason. Yeah? They are not kicked out because the teacher doesn't like them. Yeah? They are kicked out because the scolding or the teaching of the teacher doesn't doesn't get get recognized by these pupils. Yeah? So they have to go. They have to go. You know, they have to leave the monastery, go to another place, and reflect about you know what they did wrong. Yeah, and if they want to come back, they can come back any time. Yeah. This is. I mean, I, I saw it in Wat Babantak, You know, I mean, monks after after they were kicked out, and after three months they came back. You know, asked for forgiveness and said they want you know, yeah? until he kicked them out the next time. <laughs> Yeah? And then they came back again, yeah? Because, I mean, we tend to forget, you know? We tend to forget, and, and our, our conceit is, is coming back, you know, and it is getting so much, you know? And when the, when the Achan sees it, yeah, I mean, he says, okay, now, now you have to go, yeah? Mm -hmm. Or when the laziness creeps in, laziness creeps in again, yeah? I mean, then, then they also have to go, yeah? And if they want to come back, then they can come back. I mean, he kicked me out as well, you know. Yeah? But I was lucky; I didn't have to leave. Yeah? <clears throat> I had a, I had a good angel, you know, who was who was speaking up for me. <clears throat> but it gave me a shock, you know. It gave me a shock, you know, for for the better. Yeah, and then I reflected upon what what I did wrong. Yeah, and then I, yeah. <clears throat> And that's exactly the point, you know, why somebody kicks you out. And that, I mean, even at the times of the Lord Buddha, yeah, I mean, he said it in one of the suttas, you know, and, uh, even at that time, you know, I mean, you remember, you remember the suttas, you know, of where, where the where two groups of monks, you know, the Lord Buddha was, you know, there were two groups of monks were fighting, yeah, fighting over, over, over the usage of water, yeah, and then the Lord Buddha wanted to come and tell them, you know, one was the Dhamma, you know, one were, were more Dhamma and the other one were, were, were more, you know, uh, Vinaya, you know, and they were fighting and the Lord Buddha said, yeah, I mean, make it like this. And nobody listened to him. And then he went out, you know, for three months he spent the Pansa somewhere else, yeah. <clears throat> and the lay people were so frustrated with these kind of monks, yeah, <laughs> that they didn't give them food anymore or, or hardly any food, yeah. <clears throat> so I mean it, it happens, it, it will happen everywhere, yeah. And it is not, you know, it is it, it is not a bad mark if you're kicked out, yeah, and Unle unless you don't reflect about you know what, what you have done wrong. Yeah? So remember this, yeah. <clears throat> but it is difficult because the conceit of the Westerners is, is, is too high. I haven't seen any Westerners coming back, yeah. The, yeah, they think, oh, I don't need to come back, yeah? I mean, if he kicks me out, I, I, I don't need him. Yeah? Of course you need him, yeah? <clears throat> so that, that is, that is for, 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 the, for the beginning, yeah? I mean, remember this well. I haven't talked about it for quite a while, but conceit is something, you know, that creeps up, yeah? Also, the other thing that creeps up is laziness. You know, I mean, we're getting comfortable, you know, with the way of life here, and it can it can be quite comfortable. Huh? I mean, all what we have to do. I mean, there is little work we have to do. You know, there, we, 
what do we have to do? In the morning we have to clean the sala, we have to prepare the sala, you know, go up in the pot and, and clean the sala afterwards and then in the afternoon, I mean, how, how long does it take eh? to clean the monastery? Yeah? I mean, sweep the monastery, clean the sala and, and the, the things that we use, yeah? I mean, it doesn't take long. Yeah? So we have most of the time we would have for practice. Yeah? And that's why we... Why we should be here, you know, because we are intent to practice, yeah, and practice as much as possible. I mean, I talked to the Thai, I said, you know, I mean, the, the least, least amount of practice you should do is at least 10 hours a day, yeah. But from my own practice, you know, I mean, 10 hours was the minimum, yeah. Most, most of the time it was 12 hours, sometimes it was 16 hours, and sometimes it was 18 hours of practice. Only then do you get results, yeah. I mean, if you practice the whole day, you know, if you, if you wake up, you know, and, and the moment you wake up and, and then you start with your Buddha practice or with the practice of uh, Anapanasati or with the practice of investigation, huh? until, you know, until the night comes, you know, and, and you're so tired that you cannot, you know, cannot keep awake, and then you go to sleep and then the morning you pray, wake up, you know, you practice again. I mean, that's where, where you get results, yeah? But we do, you know, we do the stop and go practice, yeah? We practice for an hour, then we make a break for half an hour, and then we practice for another hour, and then we make another break. And then, yeah, this is stop and go. Yeah? I mean, remember when we were in the city driving, you know, driving a car, stop and go, yeah? Do we go anywhere? Yeah? Very fast, huh? <clears throat> so the practice is here, you know, the, we, we should practice continuously, yeah? Even if we switch from walking meditation to sitting meditation, we, sh we should still keep with our Buddha or with our investigation. That's where we, that's where we really get results. Yeah? That's where the mind gets calm. That's, and that is the first thing. Yeah? I mean, when we think about the fourth noble truth, yeah? the, the fourth noble truth of Sila Samadhi Panya. Sila, I mean, we are here in the monastery, so we keep, keep as a lay person, we keep the eight precepts, and as monks we can keep the 227 precepts, so we don't have to worry about it. Yeah? And so we worry about Samadhi and then later on Panya, yeah? wisdom, developing wisdom. Yeah? Samadhi is the practice of Anapanasati or the practice of Buddha until the mind gets completely calm, until there's no more thoughts yeah? coming up and no more memories coming up, until the mind really, the mind engine really stops. Yeah? <coughs> When the mind engine really stops, it is like a lake, yeah? Like a lake, you know, when you think about the thoughts, you know, thoughts about the wind, you know, and, and the memories about the rain, you know, I mean, you don't see the, you don't see the ground of the lake, yeah? But when the wind stops and when the, when, when the rain stops, I mean, the, the, the water calms and you see to the ground, yeah? And that is the same thing. When the, when, when the thought stops and when the memory stops, yeah, then you can see what is, what is in, what is in your heart, yeah? what is going on in the heart. Yeah? And then you see it. Yeah? <clears throat> and then, then you have even more possibilities, you know, I mean, to catch yeah, the intentions that are coming up. The intention to think. You see the intention to think. Before even a thought comes up. You see the intention to think, or you see the intention to memorize, or you see something, you know, something has come through the senses, yeah? But you don't want to know, yeah? Through which senses, you don't want even to identify what is, what senses, you know, were touched, you know? You, you just know something has come to the senses and you stay, you stay with the Buddha or you stay with the, with the breath, you know, whatever object you have chosen. So you see what is going on until the heart completely calms down and then it really gets still. Yeah? And then you go even, then you, you still, still go on, you know, you still go on with your practice of Buddha or you still go on with the practice of Anapanasati yeah, for the breath, you know, for the breath meditation until the breath really stops. Yeah? And that's where most of people get frightened. Yeah? Just, just think about it, you know, when, when you come close to the situation or when you happen to it and fear comes up, then the next time you do the practice, you know, just tell us, what happens when I die? You know, when, what happens when the breath stops? Yeah? What is left? Because there is something left. And that's exactly what we want to see. That's exactly the thing that we want to experience. Whatever is left. Yeah? 
Because all the things, Anicca, you know, I mean, the Lord Buddha talked about Anicca. Hmm? Anicca, Anatta, Dukkha. Anicca, you know, whatever is impermanent cannot be us. Yeah? <clears throat> so whatever, you know, whatever can disappear, yeah? Let it disappear. So if the breast disappears, yeah, or the breast stops, you know, let it disappear. If, yeah? I mean, before the breath stops, you know, all the sensations of the body disappear. Huh? I mean, the body disappears before that, yeah? before the breath stops. There's only, there's only a little bit, you know, I mean, the attention is then only focused on the heart, yeah? huh? until, until you know. Not that the breath becomes weak or that breath disappears, because the, when the breath disappears is when our attention on the breath disappears. A lot of people confuse that, yeah? The breath stops, and we know that the breath stops. Yeah? And that's where fear mostly comes in. Yeah? So prepare yourself, or don't be afraid, you know? Be interested in what is going on. Yeah? And it happened to me, you know, I was interested. Oh, where is that going? Boops, and then I was gone. Yeah? There was nothing was there. Yeah? The, whole, the whole universe, the three... Samte Lokathat, the three worlds of existence just disappeared. Ne? And that is called Apana Samadhi, the deep Samadhi, huh? or the Nibbana of the little man, yeah? <clears throat> everyday man. Yeah? I mean, it is something that we can experience without, you know, without uh, <coughs> going through Sotapana, Sakatakami, Anakami, and Arahant. Yeah? We can experience, you know, the Nibbana for, for a moment of time. Yeah? It's a preview, it's not Nibbana. Yeah? It's a preview of Nibbana. Yeah? And that's where everything stops. Yeah? And, I mean, there's no time. Yeah? There's no space, there's no time, there's nothing. Because all these things are Anicca, all these things are impermanent. There's nothing left there. Yeah? The only thing that is left, you know, I mean, you, you, the only thing that you know when you come out, because while you're in, you don't know anything, yeah? I mean, there's only sati, yeah? There's only this, this, uh, this pure knowingness. Huh? When you come out, you can reflect upon, yeah? I mean, it is, you know, I mean, what, what do you want to say about Nibbana? It is one-pointedness, yeah? I mean, if subject and object merges into one point, what can you say about it? Yeah? I mean, our whole existence is, is, uh, is placed on the duality. Yeah? I mean, there's subject and there's object. Yeah? We observe something. Yeah? We observe, you know, we, the, the subject, observe something. Yeah? I mean, if you observe the breath, then the breath is the object, and, and we yeah, are the subject. Yeah? But when subject and object merge into one thing, you know, I mean, we can't say anything about it. And that's exactly what is happening. We can't say anything. The only thing that we know is that we have not been asleep. Yeah? And when you come out, you are wide, you, you're wide awake. Yeah? You're, you're completely awake. Yeah? It is like, you know, I mean, you, <clears throat> you charge yourself completely up. Yeah? I mean, it's just like putting your, your two, two fingers in an AC outlet. Boops. Yeah? You're so awake, you know, and, and when you come out, you see through everything. Yeah? I mean, it depends on how long you have been, you know, in this state, you know, how long this lasts. Yeah? Because not, this won't last because the kilesas are going to take hold of it yeah? again. Yeah? They're taking, you know, taking hold of you again. Just like when you go into Upacha Samadhi, when there's no thoughts and there are no memories, but everything else is still there, feeling is still there, sensations are still there. Yeah? When you come out, the kilesas will, yeah, I, don't, I want to this, or they tell you, oh, it was so nice, you know, let's go back, or, or this or that, you know. Then somebody comes, you know, this little voice, you know, that is, comp <clears throat> that is nauseating us all the time, you know, comes back and tells us what we have experienced, yeah? As if you don't know what we have experienced, huh? Why do they need to tell us, yeah? Why do they need to tell us that as our practice is good, huh? Oh, our practice is bad? Oh, why do they need to tell us this is so difficult? What is difficult? There's nothing difficult, yeah? There's also nothing easy, yeah? Because that is all the assumptions of the kilesas who tell, oh, that's so difficult, oh, that's so difficult, yeah? Oh, I can't pass it, oh, I can't make it, oh, I can't sit, yeah? I mean, who tells us this thing, yeah? I mean, we hear this voice. It is not us, yeah? I mean, we should reflect upon, you know, and use the anatta, you know, whatever we can experience cannot be us, yeah? 
I mean, if you see your hand, it is not you. Yeah? You see an object. Yeah? How can it be you? Yeah? <clears throat> because what is what is seeing? Yeah? The eyes are not seeing, you know, are not seeing the hand. Yeah? There's a knowingness deep inside, you know, but it gets confused by our knowledge, yeah? Whatever we know, you know, and, and how long did we train this body? Huh? How long did we train this body, yeah? Huh? Learning to walk, learning to talk, learning to write, learning to read, you know, learning to think. 15, 18 years did we train this, huh? this biological robot? Yeah? And then we identify with this biological robot, and then we are so sad, you know, when this robot dies, yeah? I mean, we are not this robot, yeah? It's just like, you know, we, you know, there's a brand new car, you know, we enter the brand new car and in the first 18 years we learn how to drive this car and then we can drive it for a while until, you know, it breaks down, you know, and then we get out, you know, and look for a new car. Huh? The body is not us, this is fundamental, you know, this must be a funda fundamental understanding. Hmm? But... <clears throat> But our identification of the body is so strong. Yeah? That's why we need to develop wisdom, yeah? panya. Yeah? We need to develop wisdom by investigating this body. Investigating inside, outside, outside, inside, you know, from top to bottom, from bottom to top. Yeah? Reflecting about the life, you know, reflecting about the life as a human being, being born, you know, educating or training this body, you know, and then what do we do? Yeah? We go to work for this body then until the rest of our life, yeah? Until we can't work anymore and then, and then we just wait to die. Hmm? That is what the normal, you know, look at the, look at the world, you know, that's what people are doing. Yeah? Yeah? They train the body, yeah? then they learn a profession or, yeah? <clears throat> some learn a better profession, some a less, less good profession, you know, but they have to work for this body, yeah? The rest of their life, yeah? yeah? <clears throat> And they have to save some money so that they have some money in the, you know, with their old age, yeah? And then they wait to die, yeah? And what does the body give us? Yeah? I mean, reflect about it, huh? This, the body, the, the body, the car is not, is not the important thing. The owner of the car, the owner of the body is that what we look after, yeah? What we need because this owner wants this body, yeah? This, the chitta wants this body, you know, or the kilesas want this body. Yeah? So that's why we have to reflect upon it. Yeah? Oh, you know, reflecting about, you know, when, when we do this, you know, when you reflect about death, you know, what is dying? Yeah? I mean, experience apana samadhi and then you know nothing is dying, you know. All what can, you know, all what can change, you know, will change, yeah. Or will appear and you know, will disappear again. That is, that is the, you know, if you can do it, you know, do it and see, you know, I mean, there's nothing left, you know. And the first thought, you know, when you come out, you know, will be, ah, I want to go back. I don't want to be in this world where constantly bombarded by the senses, constantly bombarded, you know, by the kilesas, wanting this, wanting that. Ah, there's no end to it. There's no end to wanting unless we, you know, we make an end to it, yeah. <clears throat> you have to, you really have to understand that, yeah. Of course, if you go to, into Apanasam and you come out, you know, I mean, yeah, it is wonderful, you know, first thought, how do I get back? Because I don't want to be in this world, yeah? This world is just troublesome, yeah? But we don't see it, of course, because we don't know the other thing. We don't know the other, <coughs> the other side, yeah? We only know this, you know, because we have been thrown into this body because of our avicca, because of our kilesas, we have been thrown in this body. And then what do we do? You know, we look at our parents, we look at our friends, what do they do? Okay, we do, we follow just the same thing, yeah? Until we die, you know, and then, then what is, you know, whatever our karma allows us to do, yeah? Uh, maybe it allows us to go to heaven, you know, then we spend a while in heaven, yeah? Until we go, you know, and then, then we mostly go to hell, you know, because we always do good things and we do bad things. Yeah, good things, you know, might lead us to heaven, huh? and bad things always lead us to hell. Yeah? And that is it, you know, I mean, it's a hamster wheel, turning around, turning around, turning around. Born death, born death, born death, born death. Yeah? I mean, the devas are not born, but they appear and disappear. Yeah, I mean, so, 
you can call it, you know, the, the beings in hell, you know, appear and disappear as well, yeah? They are, they are thrown into a hell, you know, and they are not born into a hell, yeah? Only there are two, only two realms, you know, where, where, where things are born. That is the, the, the human realm and the animal realm. That's where, where beings are born into, yeah? And they have to train this body, yeah? The other things just appear and disappear, yeah? But when you think about it, you know, it is this, yeah? No roller coaster, I call it roller coaster, yeah? You go slowly, slowly go up, you know? Yeah? But, you know, we are very excited when we go down, yeah? <laughs> All this screaming, all this screeching, you know, oh, that's just so much fun, you know, going down. We can't wait to go up, you know, and then, then you know, we scream and screech, you know, when we go down. <clears throat> And then we go up again, and then we go down again, and then we go up again, you know, and there's no end to it, yeah? A hamster wheel is a wheel, you know, I mean, unless you open the door, unless you find the door, you know, that goes out of the hamster wheel, I mean, you will be stuck there forever, yeah? And that's what the Lord Buddha teaches, yeah? I mean, he, taught, he teaches, you know, samsara vatta, yeah? Uh, what is it, the wheel of birth and death, yeah? So he calls it, you know, and, and he says, unless, you know, unless we don't open the door, and the opening the door is the entering of Sodapanna, or entering the stream, he calls it, yeah, entering the stream that leads to Nibbana. Unless we don't open this door, I mean, we are stuck in this, yeah. In this, you know, please remember this very well, yeah. I mean, you reflect about your life, and if you think, you know, you don't want to be reborn again, you don't want to go through all these schools, you don't want to go through, you know, growing up, yeah, as a human being, because sooner or later you will become a human being. Maybe you are in the ghost realm for a long time, or in the hell realm for a long time, or in the deva realm for a long time, where it is very different, but sooner or later you will come back as a human being, and then you have to do the same thing, yeah? I mean, you have to train this body, yeah? You have to educate this body, and then you have to go to school, yeah, and then you have to fight, you know, with, <clears throat> with sexuality and so on. Yeah? How, how often do you want to do it? Huh? How, how, how more lives do you want to have? Yeah? Unless you don't put a stop to it, you know, I mean, endless, yeah? I mean, how many lives did the Lord Buddha have been, yeah? I mean, when he decided to become a Buddha, it was still 100, what was this? 180 eons. Eons is one uncountable huh, time. Huh? <clears throat> and the, uh, Lumpuman, the founder of this, uh, this uh, forest tradition, you know, I mean, he had already 90 eons of training behind him. He was half a Buddha, yeah? Uh, so he wasn't determined to become a Buddha. Not yet determined to become a Buddha. So he stopped it and said, no, another 90, no. No, I don't, I don't do that, you know, let's finish it up, you know, and he finished it up, yeah? And it was good for us that he finished it, yeah? Lumpu, Lumpu Man, Lumpu Sao, yeah? And then all, all his disciples, Lungta Mahabo, Lumpu Chop, Lumpu Kao, all, all his disciples, you know, I mean, they were all eager, you know, to finish it this life, yeah? And we still, you know, we still have their teachings, yeah? So we still could do it, you know, but... Uh, our laziness creeps in. Ah. Yeah, we, we practice for five days. Ah, really hard, really hard, yeah, really hard, yeah. And then, oh, we can become discouraged. And who discourages us? The kilesas. Yeah? And who do we believe? We believe always the kilesas, what they tell us, yeah? The killers tell us, you know, this is good, or this is bad, or this is not good, you know, and this is not bad, yeah? <clears throat> Actually, when our practice is really good, you know, huh? I mean, it's really bad, yeah? Because we don't learn anything. If it is really difficult, that's where we learn things, yeah? That's where we fight the killers who make it difficult for us, yeah? I mean, if it goes easy, you know, we don't learn a thing, yeah? It's just like, you know, spending up the time in heaven, you know, we don't learn anything and we don't want to practice, yeah? Why, why, why should we practice? I mean, if you all would be comfortable, nobody of you would be here, yeah? You would all live, you know, a very comfortable life, you know, without dukkha, yeah? Without dissatisfaction, yeah? Or no, just very little dissatisfaction, you know, and you wouldn't even think about, you know, I mean, why, 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 why should you 
Why should you choose a way, you know, out, yeah, if, if everything is satisfied true, yeah? yeah? But because, you know, because we saw the first noble truth, yeah? And the first noble truth is so important, you know, to really see it, yeah? To see the dukkha in our life, to see the discomfort, to, to, see, <clears throat> to see the pain, to see the suffering, to, dis, to see the dis-ease, yeah? It is so important because it gives us, yeah? It gives us so much motivation to find a way out. Yeah? If everything is comfortable, and that refers back, you know, to a, to a place where everything is comfortable, we are very unlikely to practice very hard. If it is very uncomfortable, we are very likely to practice very hard because we want to overcome dukkha. Yeah? <clears throat> At least if you are a practitioner. Yeah? And the people, you know, people just give up, you know, kill themselves, you know, if it becomes too hard. And that is not the solution, yeah? Killing yourself, you're just born again, yeah? And then people killing themselves, the first thing that they encounter is hell, yeah? You're not allowed to kill other people, you're not allowed to kill yourself, yeah? The only exception is for an arahant, he can kill himself. Yeah? <clears throat> But any, any other being should not, yeah? <clears throat> so, think about it, yeah? reflect about it, yeah? Reflect about your life and make a determination, yeah? I mean, practice as much as possible, yeah? I mean, here, you know, here you really have the opportunity. It was just like in Pantat, yeah? In Pantat, you really had the opportunity to practice as much as possible. Yeah? And especially, yeah, I mean, I was fasting, you know, I'm, I, I was eating once a week, yeah? And the rest of the time I was practicing, 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 not interested in anything at all. I mean, I've been in, in other monasteries before. I've been in, in, in England in the monasteries, looked at them, they're working, working, working. Then I went to a monastery in Germany, working, working, working. And I wanted only to practice. Then I came to Wat Bapantat, yeah? And then suddenly, you know, 24 hours I could practice, yeah? As much as possible. Yeah? Wow. Yeah? But I took this opportunity. Yeah? Other people, you know, I mean, practice for a year and then Oh, uh, yeah, they, they get lazy, you know, and they got compliant because the dukkha is not so, yeah, not so much anymore. Huh? It's not so heavy, the dukkha. Yeah? That's why they stop practicing. Yeah? Because we haven't reflected too much on the dukkha. I mean, the dukkha starts in within the morning. Yeah? I mean, every morning it starts. Yeah? We don't want to get up. Yeah? That's where the dukkha already starts. Then we are hungry. It starts, you know, there's dukkha. Yeah? And that is just bodily dukkha. Yeah? <clears throat> And then we are thirsty, it's dukkha, yeah? And then we need to go to the toilet, relieve our shit, you know, it's dukkha, yeah? And then we are tired, you know, it's dukkha. But we don't see it, because we are so accustomed to it, yeah? This is, and this is just the dukkha of the body. What, what kind of happiness does the Buddha, uh, the, does the body give us, huh? When we are hungry, we eat, and we are happy, because there is no more dukkha. It actually knows, it's not sukkha, it's not happiness, yeah? It's a relief, you know, it's a relief of dukkha, where, where, where we think, you know, where, where this happiness comes from, yeah? When we're thirsty, we drink, you know, and then we're relieved of dukkha, yeah? When we're tired, we go to sleep, and then we're relieved of dukkha. That's the only thing this body gives us, yeah? All the sensations, you know, all the sensations that, that come from the body, I, I mean, there is no happy sensation that comes from the body. The happy sensation comes from the heart, yeah? And the dukkha and the dukkha that comes from the heart because we don't like, yeah? I mean, we dislike, yeah? This, you know, that, that's where the dukkha of the heart comes. And that is much easy, much more difficult, you know, to tackle. Mm? The dukkha of the body, I mean, we, we, we know, you know, we have, we have done it, you know, since, since we were born, you know, get rid of the dukkha of the body. But to get rid of the dukkha of the heart, it is much more difficult, yeah? <clears throat> all our wanting, all our likes and dislikes, you know, I mean, create this dukkha. This is the second, second noble, that's the second noble truth. What is, the, what is the cause for our dukkha? It's our likes and dislikes. We don't like the situation, and we don't like this monastery, we don't like this achan, yeah, and, and so on, and so on, yeah? I mean, that's where the dukkha comes in, yeah? <clears throat> 
That reminds me about the story, you know, I mean, about Ananda, the Venerable Ananda and, uh, and the Lord Buddha going to a different city, you know, where they called him camel heads and what, whatever and, and bald, bald heads, you know, and, and, and the Ananda said, you know, uh, let's go to another city where they, you know, where, where they respect us, yeah? Hmm? Uh, and, and if you go to, and the Lord Buddha said, if you go to another city, yeah, and they call you the same thing, yeah, where do you go? In the end, you know, I mean, there is no place where you go, because wherever you go, you take the things with you, yeah? So you have to relieve that thing, yeah? You have to <clears throat> get rid of the likes and dislikes in your heart, yeah? And the first, the first thing, you know, we do in the development of, of wisdom is, I mean, to, to get rid of the attachment to this body. This body, you know, I mean, when, when you look at it, when you look at the path, yeah? The path of deliverance, yeah? There are four stages of deliverance. The first is Sodapana, the stream entry. The second is, uh, <clears throat> what is it, Sakadakami, I mean, well, once returner. Then there's, there's the Anakami, non returner, and then there's the Aran. And the first three stages are, are all concerned with the body. Yeah. Only, the, only the Anakami has got written, yeah, I mean, he, he really relieved every, every attachment to the body. And then he still has the other four khandas to tackle to. Vedana, feeling, you know, <coughs> thoughts, memory, and consciousness. Yeah? I mean, the first three stages of deliverance, we are only concerned about the body. See, see the importance, you know? We have to tackle this problem of the body. Yeah? We have to get rid of the attachment. What does the body give us? Yeah? I mean, it is just a burden, you know, we constantly, you know, we constantly, uh, wherever we go, I mean, we have to carry our weight, you know, we have to carry our bones and flesh wherever we go, yeah? A weight of 80 kilograms, yeah, or 60 kilograms, you know, whatever your weight is, yeah? We have to carry it, yeah? We heave it in the car, we heave it in the plane, you know, we heave it on a boat, you know, because, uh, but the chitta, you know, I mean, within the blink of the eye, can, can, can go to another world, you know, it can go to another star, yeah? yeah there's, no, there's no way to it, yeah? <clears throat> but that is, also, of course, not the solution, because it still is within the three, three world systems, yeah? or within the three realms of existence. So, yeah? With this, with this, I close the talk. You know, I mean, find your determination. It is completely up to you. Yeah, and reflect about death. Reflect about you know, if you want to be born again, you know, go through all these troubles that that you have gone through. Yeah, I mean, and and reflect. You know, I mean, if you stay stayed here for a long time, you know, especially the monks. I mean, why did you come here in the first place? Yeah, we tend to forget that. Yeah, and we tend to get lazy. Hmm? Okay. Yeah? So, are there any questions? Mikam Tame? If there are no questions, you know, go, go now and, and practice, yeah? As much as you can, and a little bit more. You always can do a little bit more. Okay, bye. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.